Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can create a visual query in Microsoft Fabric. Now in today's video, this will be in continuation to all my previous videos on Microsoft Fabric and I do recommend watching all the previous videos sequentially in order to understand Microsoft Fabric and I also recommend that you guys should also try hands-on simultaneously. So let's move ahead. So before moving ahead, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn and Instagram and I'm going to leave the link in the description box. So let's move ahead and see exactly how we can create a visual query in Microsoft Fabric. So now I will actually move to my Microsoft Fabric account using app.fabric.microsoft.com and right now you can see I am at the home page and I can click over here on the left bottom and we can go to our data engineering workspace or the data engineering experience I would say and uh, you can also see that uh, I have different workspaces over here like if you click on workspace you will see multiple workspace whatever you have created you can go to a particular workspace where you wish to perform any tasks right you can go to any workspace that you have created you can directly go from these tiles as well that you see on the screen right you can see workspace 01 lake house fabric workspace 01 so whatever workspaces you will have they will you will also see uh, like a quick access or a tile over here to directly access it so now if i go to the workspace and click on my fabric workspace 01 this is the workspace that i have created we have created a sim we have seen that we have created a lake house and uh, we have also uh, you know imported the data into the lake house and we have also seen that when we import the data we have a semantic model as well as sql analytics endpoint that gets created now semantic model is nothing but it is same as your power bi data set right so now let me simply click on the lake house that we created in our previous video so now you can see that we are in the lake house that we created workspace underscore zero one underscore lake house that we created. We have this table, we have the customer table that we created over here. And right now, if you go at the, at the top right, you can see we are at the lake house. All this I have explained earlier. And if you want to go to the SQL analytics endpoint, you have to click over here to go to the SQL analytics endpoint. So let's click on SQL analytics endpoint over here. And uh, typically you will see, uh, you know, a database kind of a UI over here right now. And this is what we have seen in our previous videos as well. Now, let me just go to the bottom and you can see we are in the data tab. So now to have a visual query, right, to create a new visual query, you can actually go ahead. You should make sure that you are in the data tab. You should not be in the query or the model tab. Um, now, once you are in the data tab, you can check this particular band at the top, new visual query. So the moment you click on new visual query, what it will do, it will automatically switch from the data tab to the query tab over here. That is the first thing that is going to happen. Now, what is visual query? Visual query is nothing but a diagrammatic representation or drag and drop representation of a SQL query. We will see how it happens. So let's say you want to perform any kind of operations on this customer's table, right? So let me simply, uh, you know, drag and drop this customer's table into the visual query over here. Now, once I drag and drop this particular uh, customer's table, you can see how does it look like. Like it is a typical power query kind of, um, you know, environment. Now, uh, if you want, you can click on this particular symbol over here, right, which will expand the window. Uh, off so that you can perform your task a little easier. Now, uh, let me just cancel it. Now, let's say I drag and drop customer again. I want to do, you know, some kind of a work with these two customers table. Now, let me simply open it again over here. And now you can see it's a, it's, it's, it's a typical power query UI that you have to, to do the tra data transformation, right? You, you can do any kind of transformation. So let's say, for example, I have clicked this first customers that I have uh, dragged and drop. Now, if I click on this birth date, right, I can choose to do anything, you know, I can simply right click on it, you know, I can remove this column, you know, I can transform this column, I can just change the type of this column, let's change the type to the date, right, so now, the moment I change the type to the date, 
you can actually see that everything got converted in a date format and a step got added right a step got added over here now similarly let's say I want to uh, delete this particular column right I can simply say remove column so my the next step that has come up is that okay the number of children I have removed it now let me remove the second column as well number of children at home right so let me simply say remove column over here now again a step would get added so like this I can apply n number of transformations right you can choose to apply any number of transformation now since you have seen that we have dragged and dropped one more customer table now here the data does not matter right what we are but basically i'm trying to explain over here that is what will matter over here not your data set so now let's say i want to uh, you know, let's say I want to do a join between these two tables. I can simply, you know, right click and then I can say merge queries as new. So the moment I click on it, now I have a UI which will help me to do a join between these two tables. Now I click on this customers, I click on this customer key because I want to do a join between these two tables based on my customer key. Now, what is the right table? Right now, I will go ahead and choose from my right table. Now, my right table is customer two, right? The, the one which I have imported again. So it's, it is pretty much the same data set. Now I'm again clicking on the join column over here, which is nothing, but it is the customer key. Now, if I come down, you can see I have, you know, an option to choose from different types of join. So let me click on inner join. Now here, it will not matter because it's the same table and i can simply click on ok so the moment i click on ok you can see a merge uh, you know uh, a merge step is also added over here now after merge let's say you know i'm just giving an example again let's say i want to delete the number of cars owned i want to delete this particular uh, column as well so let me simply say remove the column over here now you can see a step has been again added which is remove the columns over here now if i go to a complete right you will see that the customer 2 so now the columns from the customer 2 has actually populated over here right now if you see there is a symbol over here right this arrow symbol if you click on this arrow symbol using this you can actually go ahead and select you know whatever columns you want to keep from the second table so let's say from the second table i want to keep yearly income i want to keep customer name i want to keep marital status i will just select this and i will click on ok right so the moment i do that you will see that these three columns from the second table are over here now you can see from the second table you have customer name marital status and yearly income right so this is exactly what is the power query so you can import the data and you can have these power query steps however the same thing can also be done in sql as well so let me just simply click on save over here now the moment i click on save in fact everything gets auto saved remember that right now i have done this visual query now let me add one more step over here to show you guys so now if I click and I say that I don't want marital status, I want to remove this column, right? Or let's say I want to remove gender also. So I've removed these two columns and I have not saved anything, right? It gets auto saved. Now let me simply uh, close this tab, right? I have simply closed this, this tab. Now again, if I want to reopen, right? Now you will see that those two steps, which I have actually not saved also, they will get auto saved, right? So everything here gets auto saved. So this is something that we should understand that if whatever we are doing over here, everything is getting auto saved no matter what. So even if your, uh, you know, system gets crashed or your internet connection is off or anything, right? For that matter, in that case, the data will still be saved. So now I'm going back to my sql analytics endpoint and we will see that okay i'll go to my queries over here and you will see visual query one now i'll click on that and we will see okay that you have all these four steps so you can see even after this uh, particular you know expanding the columns or selecting only the required columns from my customer to after that i removed the columns right now you can see that columns are actually removed right so this step is still here. So now if I click on this, you will see now each of these batch. Now, if I click 
on the merge over here you will see that those two columns are removed now if i click on the customers batch then in that case i'm going to see the output of this particular uh, step only if i'm going to click here i'm going to see only the data specific to that particular step so if you want to see the data specific to the merge you have to click over there remember that point so everything gets auto saved over here and this is how you create a visual query now similarly if you want to view the sql that because everything happens in sql in the background right so uh, the sql is created over here but uh, i i don't think that is of any use as of now for us so this is how you create a visual query in microsoft fabric now you can also save it as a view so let's say if i click on save as view what will happen is i can select a schema where i want to uh, you know save this so let's say um, okay let's keep it in DB, dbo and let's say i i uh, call it as visual underscore query underscore one so let's say this is my view name right now if I see that, I can simply click on OK over here. Now, what will happen is this will get saved as a view, right? This will get saved as a view under the schema DBO. Now, if I click on view, you can see a SQL, oh, sorry, a visual query one. This is the name of the view that we created and it got saved, right? Now, you can actually uh, write a queries. You can write query on top of these uh, on top of this visual as well. So now if I click on create a new SQL query, right, I can simply say select star from dbo dot views dot visual underscore query underscore one, right? I can actually type in that and I should be able to run my query, right? Let me just connect the schema over here and I have to remove the views and let me simply select it and run it. So now I have started running and now you can see the output. If you want, you know, you can open it in Excel, Excel as well. And even uh, the view, the when we when we actually wrote uh, this visual query diagrammatically there also you could download it in Excel. So this download in Excel option is available everywhere. Okay, so the messages, all the query results, this we already saw in our past video. So this is exactly how you can use the visual query in Microsoft Fabric. So I hope you like this particular video. You understood what is a visual query and what and you know, how do we actually use it, right? It is nothing, but it is a complete power query UI itself. So I hope you like the video and thank you so much for being till here. Do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for being till here.